Would you like to listen to the ramblings of one that has seen past fires, curses, and ashes left behind? Would it matter, though, that our tale goes beyond the scope of light and dark to a land devoid of the mortal coil? <laughs> come, come then, champion, and peer into yourself as I show you Voletaria. Life, death, merely two words to one that lacks the soul to comprehend either. As God giveth to man, so doth he take, but the gift is never too generous. Once, as the world was forged, man was granted a visage of being, a soul that gave him understanding of his place in the grand order of existence. However, man would not survive unchallenged, if he was to survive at all. For a great force was born to the world, a vile poison to test the potential within man and crush his soul should that seem within reach. Such was the extent of God that bore his children to a scarred world and saw a kingdom and its king embrace the poison that spewed forth in the form of a colorless deep fog. It taught man much of his adversary, that there is great power within souls. Thus, one man claimed the souls of many and brought back an evil defeated Aeon's prior. But for what power and at what cost? Is there truly a man that can walk over the broken husks of thousands upon thousands of human souls and not realize that he is no more a man? Heroes fall, families, relations burn, but the age of man persists, ever so stubborn, until God grants man its new champion. However, not all gods are benevolent, and not all gods come from the heavens above. So who are you, champion? Are you come to save us all? Or are you simply a vessel bound by the shadows of those that fell before you? A slave to a demon's soul.